Good morning. It is a bright, beautiful, and absolutely cold day. I don't believe it's even going to get to 30 today. Have you ever felt surrounded on all sides? Or like the power of goodness and the power of God itself is being thwarted? Have you ever felt that way? We'll talk about that in just a second. Right now in this world, we are surrounded by trouble. We're surrounded as Russia is dealing with the issues in Ukraine. Ukraine is dealing with an invasion and, and bombs are hitting the wrong places and if there ever is a right place for a bomb to hit. World powers are watching and the threat of war is everywhere. On a smaller scale, in your individual towns right now, in my own life, I know people who are very sick. My heart breaks for them and their family. Friends and neighbors, people in our own family, people that we care about are sick. As I look, I see people wandering the streets of just my little hometown. It's not a big city. It's a town of about 6,000 people, and there are people that have nowhere to lay their heads. I see all sorts of businesses that struggle and fail. I see empty buildings. Now, at the same time, I see some buildings going up, and I see people finding some success, and I see healthy people, too. But, you know, when we see all of this going on in our world, we start thinking, am I next? Is tragedy going to strike me? My family? Well, the anxiety starts to rise in us, and we start to worry. Sometimes our worries are founded on a reasonable assumption that we have to, like, overcome something. Maybe it's a new job, or maybe we are feeling kind of sick, or maybe there's something that's thwarting our efforts. Those might be real concerns, but, the he but hear me when the issues become so overwhelming that we no longer enjoy our life, I think we've made a serious mistake. We all face anxieties. We all face problems. That's just the nature of being in a broken world. I'm not here to tell you that those things won't come into your life because if you live long enough, they will. Tragedy will strike. Something bad will happen. Someone you love will die. You will die. Something bad will happen to you. Maybe you'll lose your job. Maybe your spouse will decide they no longer love you and leave. I don't know, but I can tell you this. If we focus on the anxieties of our life, we become very, very weak and ineffective human beings. There's a story in the Bible that I think is pretty interesting that I heard of lately. There was a servant of God praying. And this servant of God was waiting for an answer and waiting and waiting. And he could not get that answer. Well, come to find out, finally, an angel of the Lord appears to him. And he said, well, I met with another spirit that blocked my path and kept me from coming to you. And when I hear that story, I'm thinking, my goodness, the powers of evil are fighting the powers of good. Is evil able to overcome good? But then as we continue reading the story, we hear, but God sent Michael to deal with this individual. And I have been able to come to you now. Michael, I want to meet that guy. I have a feeling that he is an amazing, powerful being created by God, the mighty warrior of God. Sometimes when I was a kid, I, I used to hear, you know, a third of the angels fell when Lucifer turned against God. And that seemed like an awful lot and pretty scary. But we have to remember, two-thirds stayed. So when we cast our anxieties on God. Remember that he is the vine and we are the branches and our duty is to abide in him. 
If we abide in him, he will carry us through even the darkest and most difficult set of circumstances. We must remember that God has everything well in hand, even our personal tragedies, even the things that scare us. Sometimes we don't know what to do, but we serve one who does. Never give up. Always lean on him. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be kind to each other. See you next time.